Hi, so welcome to my review of the Batman animated series. Uh, the one from the 1990s. Now, I actually like this show. But I did it at the same time. I mean, this show had a lot of good things for it, but it also had a lot of flaws. Now, I'm probably gonna. Now, of course, everyone ca says that this show was just revolutionary for its darkness and how it was everything. But, I mean, personally, I don't think it was. I mean, it was dark and action packed and everything, but, like, I didn't think it was that really bad. I mean, it, fe it felt like. Um, it didn't feel like I was watching anything more than, well, a PG movie or something like that each time. Maybe. A PG cartoon or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, granted, if a cartoon was rated PG, then it would be pretty dark, but still. Like I said, this movie, this show is just good for one reason, but it's bad, but it's, well, I'm not going to say bad, but like, the, the, okay, um, I'm gonna talk about the good stuff now, right now. F like, first of all, it was very action-packed, and it was ball-ridden, and, I mean, everything. Well, for the most part, it was ball-ridden. I mean, there was a few stuff that I felt was a bit, I mean, okay, I felt like a bit of the writing was, a, well, a bit of the situations that, that Batman was in was a bit contrived on how he got out of them. Some of them. Some of them, he used his brain. Some of them, I just felt like were a bunch of flukes. And that's one thing that I didn't like about this show. But that's not the major, biggest major problem I had with this show. But it's one thing I had. It's one thing I didn't like about this show. Now, what the biggest problem was... Now, okay, well, I'm not going to talk about that yet. So, like I said, each episode was full of villains that were interesting, like the Joker, Two-Face, the Penguin, uh, um, the Riddler, uh, even Mr. Freeze, the, and the, yeah, uh, they were all good villains. Um, now, here's the problem, though. The biggest problem is that, well, each episode seemed to be just random. It didn't really have, it didn't really follow a timeline, like, each episode was just one episode after another, and, like, there was no real continuity, if you understand what I mean. Like, each episode was episodic, and treated itself as its own story, whereas, if it treated itself as a, as, as, as its own, well, it didn't feel like it was, brand, it didn't feel like it was going anywhere. It was just dealing with the situation. Granted, it dealt with the situation in very creative ways and very brilliant ways and very smart ways and in very intelligent ways. And there were some really, 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 really fun episodes that I really, really liked. Like the episode where the... I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, there that there's an episode that maybe, I'm just saying maybe inspired Saw a little bit. Because there's this guy who invented traps and said, oh, do this or else, I'm gonna, or else you're gonna die. And, I mean, the ending though was really interesting how Batman was one step ahead of the guy. And, again, there was, there was this weird, there was this un one episode though where the Riddler almost got him and there's actually an episode called almost got him actually there's two episodes where but actually there's an episode that's called the man who killed batman again it's a it's a twist ending which is interesting i mean i do find that interesting though some of the episodes ended in twist endings but like i said it was too episodic and there was no way to continue continuity like for example, there was like for example, Robin would be in one episode and then not be in one episode, and 
I don't know. That just didn't make much sense to me. I mean, why was Robin not in one episode and, like, in one episode and not in another? And, I mean, the villains were just, well, I mean, it's not that they weren't smart about it. It's just, well, they were. <laughs> well, some of them were, but some, they were, they were kind of stupid. I mean, they had the ability to kill Batman, but they were just overconfident. And they wanted to try and unmask and come a few times, but like I said, they were again overconfident. Um, like there was this one episode called "Almost Got Him," where the four bad four bad guys are talking about how they almost got Batman, and well, I, I would s well two of them almost got him because but they did get him because Batman was just smarter than them. One of them didn't get them because well, didn't get him because well. He was just overconfident, and, uh, yeah, if he just, I don't know, shot him, he could have killed, he could have uh, gotten away with it. But, instead, he had to create an elaborate trap, which, very unlikely to escape, but Batman somehow s managed to escape it, which, in a contrived way, because, well, it basically involved a giant coin that was going to be slingshot across the room, and it was probably gonna like if it fell it would have either squashed him or broken all his bones either way it fell and s well Batman somehow stole Two-Face's coin and used it to rip open the ropes now I suppose you could argue that Batman knew that Two-Face was gonna do that because he's Batman and just knows two -Face, what Two-Face is capable of but still I mean how can you predict that someone would do something that elaborate. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, it does, but like, I mean, it, it's just, wow, I mean, Batman is that good at predicting people, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, um, like I said, um, there was another, one of the, but, and there was another episode where there was a, where Batman had only a few seconds to survive an explosion, and well, he just, well, um, he runs into a safe that was conveniently there, which is convenient, just conveniently there, yeah. Sort of reminded me of the, um, Indiana Jones 4 movie where Indiana Jones runs into the fridge, but, um, yeah. Anyways, though, he that's how he manages to beat the ruler. Whatever said. Uh yeah, and I I have talked about the the Joker videos, the uh, Joker episodes in um uh, but it's but I mean there was an episode there was actually a, an episode where he actually could have been beaten but wasn't because, you know, Superman saved him in in one movie called World's Finest, where Superman and Batman actually meet up and join each other, which I actually thought was an awesome idea, and it worked out perfectly. But anyways, um, I have less about a minute left, and there's still a lot I'm going to talk about. But I'm just going to say that I might do a part two, I'm not sure yet, I'm going to maybe see how people react to my videos well, to these two videos that I put up, to this one and the Joker video, and see how people react to that, and maybe I'll do a part two and expand upon a few more things I said, and I just updated my YouTube channel and have a to-do list, and yeah, so yeah, let me know what you think of, stu of uh, what, I've, what I've done so far, like these two videos, and leave comments, and um, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this review and hopefully I'll continue to uh, review this series and tell you more about what I think but like I said it really really had potential and it really did a good job and yeah that's it so bye